Zambia, a country shaped like a butterfly in the heart of Africa, is rich in copper and other extractives like gemstones, lush with forests, wildlife, fertile agricultural land, and most importantly, water. Think of the mighty Zambezi and the Victoria Falls. Natural resources are the foundation of Zambia's economy, with copper production still dominating, but the country's engine is its people. Zambia achieved middle-income country status in 2011 during a decade of impressive economic growth averaging 7.4% per year between 2004 and 2014. Growth, however, only benefited a small segment of the urban population and had limited impact on poverty. Today, Zambia is amongst the countries with the highest levels of poverty and inequality globally. 58% of Zambia's 16.6 million people earn less than the international poverty line of $1.90 per day, compared to 41% across Sub-Saharan Africa, and three quarters of the poor live in rural areas. Investments in people, their skills, health, knowledge, and resilience is essential for growth and development. In 2018, Zambia stood amongst the countries with the lowest human capital index in the world, with current levels of education and health services in Zambia, a child born today will only be 40% as productive as they could be. The country's score is lower than the average for its region and its income group. 40 out of 100 children are stunted and the learning adjusted years of schooling indicator is only 5.2 years, suggesting serious problems with learning outcomes. Zambia's high population growth, combined with agricultural and natural resource exploitation practices, are accelerating land degradation. If not addressed, this poses a threat to the long-term development and well-being of Zambian people. In 2017, the country's risk of debt distress was elevated from medium to high. The cost to maintain this debt poses a major risk to achieving Zambia's development objectives to transform the country from a primarily product-dependent economy to a strong, diversified middle-income country by 2030. The challenges facing Zambia are significant, but Zambia can overcome them to eradicate poverty and achieve shared prosperity by investing in human capital for the 21st century, sustainably harnessing natural resources, further integrating into surrounding regional markets and securing development that leaves no one behind. Aligned with the government of Zambia's National Development Plan and its Sustainable Development Goals, the World Bank Country Partnership Framework aims to support the government of Zambia to address the structural challenges for poor, poor growth with a clear focus on rural areas. More specifically, the CPF aims to help the government of Zambia improve human development outcomes by improving, especially in rural areas, the quality and coverage of education, health services, delivery, social assistance, and by raising women's and girls' education, livelihood opportunities, and empowerment. Reduce regional disparities and increase opportunities and jobs for the rural poor by catalyzing private sector investment, transforming agriculture, in better connecting lagging regions and smallholder farmers to markets. Expand market opportunities for Zambian firms through increased economic integration with neighboring countries and an adequate rural road network. Reduce the infrastructure gap, increase access to electricity and water and sanitation, and increase the climate resilience of rural communities. And address the current debt situation through fiscal consolidation and increased reserves. This CPF reflects the World Bank Group's commitment to eradicating poverty and achieving shared prosperity, working with the government of Zambia in its pursuit of inclusive and high growth for the benefit of every Zambian.